Ever notice all those gold contacts on cables and connectors? Well, whether it's a USB drive, an HDMI cable, or a graphics card, they have a ton of those little pins on there. But why do they need so many? Let's start out with possibly the most straightforward reason of all, power. Putting an electrical connection and a data connection on the same contact would cause interference. So most modern digital connectors separate those onto different pins. And then you have the fact that current needs to return via a ground connection, meaning you need at least two connectors for power, which you see in USB-A connectors, for example. But having tiny pins means you can only put so much current through them. Think about how when you go and buy an extension cable, the larger ones are rated for more power than the smaller ones. It works similarly with your electronics. So devices that need relatively large amounts of power often spread out their power delivery across many contacts. A great example of this is pins on a CPU. Modern processors have over a thousand pins, many of which are dedicated to power delivery. With higher end CPUs now drawing over 150 watts at load, roughly the same as a 75 inch TV, it isn't hard to understand why you don't want to put all of that power through just one little pin. He's only one pin, John. Speaking of power, some connectors have additional pins to accommodate multiple voltages. You can see this in the standard 24 pin power connector for computer motherboards, which has to provide 12 volt, 5 volt, and 3.3 volt power. And while most components these days run off 12 volts, the other voltages are still supported for any components that still need to get the lower voltages directly from the power supply. But there are plenty of other reasons for all those pins being there besides just power. And we'll tell you about those right after we thank Ranvu for sponsoring this video. The ICE 3 is a portable air conditioner designed to wear around your neck. It provides up to 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius of powerful instant cooling. The 360 degree outlet means it doesn't just shoot out air to your neck, your face and body are covered as well. With six sensors, it uses AI technology to automatically adjust the temperature of the wind being directed to you based on indicators like your body's heart rate and blood oxygen levels. All of the features can be controlled on the 1.9 inch LCD screen or further customized in their app. And with a massive battery packed in, the ICE 3 can run for up to six hours in cooling mode and can fully charge up in just two and a half hours. Head on over to one of the links below and check out the ICE 3 for yourself. Part of the reason we can send so much data at once these days is because of something called differential signaling. But, ooh. Basically, each data signal is sent using two pins instead of one, and each signal is basically the same, except one is positive and one is negative, as you can see on this illustration. This has a few advantages over just using one pin to send a signal. It can resist interference better and operates using less overall power, meaning that the connection can operate at higher frequencies, meaning more data per second. You can pretty clearly see the two differential signaling contacts on this USB connector. Higher speed connections will often spread out their bandwidth over multiple differential pairs in order to increase the overall amount of data that can be sent per second. This is part of the reason USB-C has more contacts than older USB-A connectors, and also makes up the vast majority of contacts on a PCI Express X16 graphics card. And there are some other functions that extra pins perform outside of ensuring data gets from point A to point B as quickly as possible. Some connectors dedicate a pin to a clock, a separate signal that keeps the flow of data synchronized. Others might have a pin to enable some kind of special functionality, such as Consumer Electronics Control, or CEC, on HDMI. CEC is what allows you to control something like the volume on your soundbar through your TV remote. And some pins simply serve as shields for adjacent pins to prevent interference, or as presence detectors, simply to let the system know that a device is connected. So contrary to popular belief, engineers didn't put all these pins there just because they were really into making electronics look like fancy gold combs as disappointing as that is. Go watch this video next to find out more about why CPUs specifically have so many pins and why their sockets keep on changing. Why? But you haven't clicked away yet, so I wanna say, hey, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Check out our other videos, comment below with video suggestions. What are you thinking about? What do you want us to talk about? And don't, then don't forget to subscribe and follow. It's just, it's, you got a list. I gave you a list to do.